All right, so we're gonna do the hop pipe dicks maneuver and then can of three positioning for benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. So could I please have you sit facing the wall here? Mm -hmm. There you go. So what I'm gonna be doing is just lowering you back down, resting your head off the edge of the table. This is just a test so that I can tell which side, uh, which side the problem may be coming from. So go ahead and sit up, don't rest on your arms. Turn your head 45 degrees to me. Yeah, that's not the All right, and I'm just gonna lower you down. This may bring on your symptoms, but they'll go away for your symptoms well. Okay, go ahead and sit back up for me. Upbeating the stagnus, signifying posterior canal, BPPB. So now what I'm gonna do is candle three position. Uh, and um, the first step to can 3 positioning is have patient long sitting facing the wall or facing away from you. So could you go ahead and put your legs up on the table? Then you turn the head 45 degrees. And the first steps of this are actually the same as how like Dick's maneuver. So I'm going to lower him down, bring his head into 30 degrees of cervical extension and 45 degrees turned to the side of the lesion followed by a 90 degree turn to the opposite side. Then at the same time, simultaneously, I'm going to ask my patient to turn onto that shoulder, roll on his side, tuck his chin towards his armpit, and then sit them back up. And this, if done correctly, we will leave vertigo. So, I'm gonna turn your head 45 degrees, and lower you down here. Now, could you turn, roll onto this shoulder so it's controlled a little bit? All right, and now roll onto this shoulder, and while you do, tuck your chin in. Very good. And I'm going to sit you up now, and I'd like you to keep your head in this position with your chin tucked down. So, swing your legs off the table, and sit up. All right, now you didn't do the directions appropriately. I asked you to keep your head 45 degrees if you need to do that. So we'll have to continue this. But, in a normal situation, the patient would maintain 45 degrees of turn and sit them up slowly so that there's no sort of orthostatic uh, issues. And um, and then you can follow it up with a help like this again to make sure that symptoms are gone. And that's intervention for BPPD.